Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Hey y'all, what is up? What's good? How you doing? How you feeling? Mentally, emotionally, physically? I hope all is well. I always like to do a quick little wellness check every now and then because it is essential and I always want to make sure that I am encouraging everyone to take care of themselves, especially in the crazy world that we live in. So, you know, just take a moment and just deep breathe and, you know, just make sure all is good. I am hype about today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize if my energy is low at the time of me filming this because I am doing a little pre-filming. Um, I am four weeks out from my bikini competition. So, girl, it's low calories, we're a little tired. However, we're gonna get into this demo and my thoughts on the new ABH concealer. Now, ABH, I feel like is one of those brands that has just kinda just fallen off a little bit, me personally. This is, this is just my thoughts, okay? Again, my opinion. Opinions are like buttholes, we all got them, okay? So don't come for me. ABH was definitely my second love. First love was MAC, second love was ABH. ABH was that girl. My first eyeshadow palette by ABH was self-made. And when I got it, I will never forget it because it was during the holidays and I was using it on all my clients for the holiday parties back in the day, pre the cove when people were going out and about and doing things. I missed that and I can remember putting it on all of my clients, wearing it, and it was just the bomb. I, at that point, became a huge ABH fan and collector because all the palettes were just it. And then, you know, as time goes on, more brands come out, new formulas, you kind of start to see, oh, wait a minute, there things have been, um, upgraded things can be a little bit better of quality however i still love and appreciate abh for what they have done for the makeup industry because i really feel like they really just put a huge stamp on it just with their palettes and just the whole vibe so now i think where they went wrong was when they started doing the whole norvina integration that's when i think things got a little bit wonky because for me when i think of abh miss anastasia i think of lux elegant, classy, chic, you know what I mean? And so then once they start doing the whole Norvina thing, which is fine, but the Norvina look and the ABH look are just two totally different aesthetics as far as I'm concerned. And they try to merge them together and I just don't think it worked. I feel like, I don't think Norvina should have been more so of like a line within ABH. I think Norvina should have been a totally separate, different deal. However, I said all that to say, now we've got concealer. They came out with foundation, I wanna say maybe two years ago. That foundation just didn't work for me because it was a more luminous, dewy foundation and your girl got oily skin. So y'all already know, that's not gonna work for me. When I saw this concealer, I was like, okay, cool. They're trying to make their way back. I know a lot of people were kind of, you know, turning their noses up because of the color selection. Let me pull it up real quick. Okay, so this is the Magic Touch Concealer and Shades here. So they have 25 shades. 25 is not bad for a concealer when you really think about it in the grand scheme of things. I think what's going on is a lot of people have just gotten so used to seeing just these gnarly amounts of shades when it comes to concealer and foundation, which I do think is fantastic. But you also gotta remember too much of a good thing is still too much. It's kind of like with Fenty when she first came out and guns blazing, hey, 50 shades, which is dope. However, I feel like a lot of people had a hard time finding their shade just simply because there were so many. Now, I'm not saying that's bad. Please don't come for me because Lord Jesus, anytime I say anything that is an unpopular opinion about Fenty or Auntie Pat, people get all up in their feelings. It's just kind of like, hey, this is just my thought process as a makeup artist, as a consumer, as a makeup lover. So I personally do not think 25 shades is bad for a concealer. I think what the issue is, when you look at this, you can see just, I don't know that it was split up properly in regards to having a light, medium, deep, dark spectrum. I feel like, you know, that probably could have been adjusted. But anywho, I am in the shade 20 and I have been playing around with this and wearing it. And I 
was pleasantly surprised. I don't know why, but for some reason, I didn't really have the highest hope for this concealer. And I love it when that happens and it shocks me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just blend this out with a sponge. This is, this is my preferred way to do things. And we're gonna do, you know, my keep it simple technique here. So I am going to go ahead and put this up under my eyes and then I will do a tish bit of spot concealing as well. I absolutely love, love, love the finish of this concealer. I feel like it is right in the middle. It's not too matte, but it's not too dewy either. Like it gives a little bit of that, I don't wanna say a glow. It, it gives a little bit of like that natural skin look, which is nice because it brings brightness and lifts the eyes up immediately. Um, I was wearing this last weekend when I was up in Pittsburgh working at a competition doing hair and makeup and Show day is a really long day. I'm typically up at like 3.30, 4 o'clock and I start taking my first client at 4.15. So let's just say your girl needs some concealer, all right? And so this looked really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up blending this out and then put a little here, blend out up there. As far as the coverage, it is medium coverage. If you wanna build her up a little bit, you can do so like, see, look how natural that is. Now, if you are someone who maybe has dry skin, you probably wouldn't even need to set this. You could just leave it as is. I am oily, so therefore, we're definitely gonna set it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little, just around my mouth, just simply because I've got some discoloration around my mouth, which is very, very common for women of color. It's not, you know, anything that's, very very obvious but i see it so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out i love the consistency of this concealer again it's not too sticky it's not too tacky it's not too thick the consistency of it it's kind of maybe kind of serum like however very nonetheless very easy to blend out and i just love the finish of it all right voila so this is what we're looking like. I think this looks stunning. Beautiful. Not mad at this at all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set now up under my eyes. I do recommend to go ahead and set it immediately. You don't wanna wait around too, too long because when I waited too long, I did notice I started to get a little bit of shifting and creasing, but that's just for me and my eye shape and how my structure is. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face as well where we put the concealer. I just feel like it's a very natural, natural, natural look. And there's honestly, cause you guys know I'm a concealer junkie. There's not even really another concealer that I feel I have in my collection that I can compare it to. So that's kind of cool as well. And voila, this is what we're looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then we'll talk about this a little bit more. Okay, I am back. Everything that is on my face will be in the description box down below. Um, I have the newest Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette on my eyes, which is retro. When, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, yeah, so this video is already up. So if you wanna see this whole eye look, I will make sure to link it down below. Let's talk about the concealer. So I don't have on any foundation. It is literally this concealer. And this is something that I tend to do a lot. You guys know I'm the under the eye spot conceal queen. That is my gig. That's how I like to do things. I am pleasantly surprised with this concealer because I love how it looks on my skin. So I put this on under my eyes, spot concealed, and then all I did was set with the LYS powder for bronzer, contour, whatever you would call this shade is from the Sephora Micro Smooth with blush, and that is it. That is all I have on my face. 
This looks stunning on the skin. Under the eyes, this wore beautifully under my eyes in the salon. I didn't have any issues with this creasing or shifting. It just, when I tell you I am pleasantly surprised, I am surprised. So outside of the shades being, you know, maybe not evenly distributed across the board, I can say that this holds up well on my oily skin. It doesn't look super, super cakey. It doesn't get heavy under the eyes. I don't have any crazy creasing and it's really, really nice for spot concealing. So if you are someone who is maybe looking for a new concealer and you were considering this one, I can say, this one is amber approved really quickly. Let me take one more look to make sure. I don't know exactly what they said the finish for this one is. Yeah, finish is natural. So medium coverage, I agree with that. You can build it up to get a little bit fuller. I wouldn't say you're gonna get full on full full, but you can definitely build it up to get a fuller look. And it, it is a beautiful natural finish on the skin. So if you have tried this already, please, please, please let me know down below your thoughts on it. There's just really something special about this formulation, ABH. Y'all, y'all, y'all did the thing with this concealer. All right. So down below, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your opinions. Let me know. Are you trying it? Are you skipping it? Is it maybe on your list for the next sale? Because I know we are in September now. Fall is about to be here and the Sephora sales are normally somewhere like end of October, November before Thanksgiving. So maybe this is something that you'll just put in your basket and let it sit into the sale, all right? So you know the deal, keep it simple and I will see you in the next video, peace.